Hello, we're at Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. Today we're going to make some custom candy for a customer. We've been requested to make a Greek flag in candy. The Greek flag is filled with symbols of its history. The white cross in the upper left is the Greek cross, of course, and the nine stripes represent the nine muses of ancient Greece representing art and creativity that we hope to capture in this candy. Our hot sugar is almost 320 degrees on our candy cooling table, and Maggie stirs in the food coloring, boiling out the water to keep the candy from becoming sticky later on. This is going to be one of our hardest designs because the design goes straight to the edge of the candy. Fortunately, we've made this type of design before with the American flag that is structurally a similar design of candy. The customer chose sour blueberry as the flavor for this candy. We're mixing in straight citric acid and powdered form into the hot sugar. This will make the candy really sour in your mouth, but won't add any water to the candy that might make it sticky. If you notice, we only added the citric acid to part of the candy. This is just the candy that's going to become white. The white will hide the citric acid. If we added it to the blue, little white speckles would show up throughout the candy. Our candy cooling table has done its job and has cooled the candy down at least around the edges. We're going to cut it into two pieces, one for the white and one for the blue. Then we're going to fold it together to even out the temperatures of the two colors of candy. The white part of the candy currently looks amber and we want it to look bright white. We make it bright white by pulling it and folding the candy over and over itself on our candy hook. The candy then traps millions of air bubbles in all the pulls that we do. And you can watch as the candy transforms from amber to a brilliant white with about 75 pulls. Every time the candy is folded, it traps millions of air bubbles. Each of these little air bubbles act like tiny mirrors reflecting the light, making the candy look white. This is the same effect that happens when a wave breaks and you see the white foam at the top of a wave in the ocean. As the candy is pulled, it cools down quite rapidly. This is because of all the air it's trapping. So we have to start with very, very hot candy. Those gloves are there to protect the hands, but also to create a layer that we can remove in case hot candy sticks to it. And we can remove the gloves before it burns the skin. As you know, we love swing music here at Lofty Pursuits. And for this video, we were able to track down a friend in Greece who was able to get us some Greek swing music for the background of this video. As long as I have a moment here, I'm going to give a shout out to the software that we use. Lofty Pursuits uses entirely open source software. The video you've seen has been edited on KDEN Live. Please check it out. It's free and it's an amazing video editing package. And now that the candy's bright white, it's time to go on and make the flag.
Greg has already made the cross for the top of the flag and is now going to add stripes one at a time for the top half of the flag. The flag will be assembled in two parts, top and bottom. The table that Greg is working on is heated. It does not so much heat the candy as keeps the candy from cooling too fast so it still remains malleable for our use. If you'll notice, Greg keeps on turning over bits of the candy. This is to keep the candy from cooling unevenly. The side that faces away from the heat becomes cooler than the side that is facing the heat. We also fold it to even out the heat during the manufacturing process. With the top half of the flag built, it's now time to work on the bottom half of the flag. We build the bottom half second because the top is very hard to control what the actual width is, but it's fairly easy to build the bottom half to the width of the top half. Now that we have one giant log of candy, it's time to size it down to about a thousand small pieces. We pinch the candy and we stretch it. This technique is very similar to the glass making technique called milliflorus, which means tiny flowers. We're going to scale the candy from the giant log into small rods about three quarters of an inch in diameter. If you ever come to Tallahassee, Florida, please come by Lofty Pursuits. You can see us make candy in person. Or you can visit our website, pd.net. And of course, you can contact us if you're interested in custom candy orders. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and check out our other videos here. Or just go to our website and order some candy. Taste how good it is for yourself.